Would this be number eight? This is number eight. Oh, we're very nearly there then. We are. Wishing my life away, yeah. I'm just... Gonna bring balloons and bunting when we get to number 10. I'm just watching the wasp that might come through the open window. Just look at the window up there. I'll be jumping out in number eight. Okay. I'm turning the engine off as well, so we've got a battery room. Look, we're not very organised for number eight. No, but that's all right. It's okay. getting bored with it now. <laughs> number eight. Number oh, yeah. eight of the top ten reasons that people fail driving tests. So this is released by the DVSA a few weeks ago. That we're just months doing. ago now. Months ago. <laughs> <laughs> just doing this little mini-series um, on. So number eight is positioning normal driving. So not being where you should be then. Yeah. And northern, thank you very much. <laughs> Three things that have come up having well. talked to my little group of examiners, and I'm pretty sure they probably won't come as any surprise to anybody, but the most obvious one is, as it says, positioning while driving normally. Classically, too far to the left or too far to the right. Um, particularly if it's of course going to endanger people. Mm. And for a prolonged period of time. So there's a Every certain amount of, yeah. of leniency. Depends what's happening, doesn't it? Yeah. If you're heading towards a bus, a prolonged period of time could be quite short. Yeah. If there's um, something there, then you might get away with it a bit longer. Yeah. There's also that slight difference between rubbing a wing mirror against a wing mirror, side mirror, door mirror, um, uh, against a, a sticking out hedge, mm. and there being a brick wall. Absolutely. So um, it does depend on what's going on, and of course the same on the opposite side of the road. It's worth saying at that point um, that if it's a vehicle of any sort, that's clearance. That's clearance, yeah. yeah just yeah. to clarify. Um, and if it's on the opposite side of the, the, the lane, so if you're too close to the, the middle, the white line, and that oncoming traffic, that is then being put at risk. That yeah. is that. can be bus lanes and bike lanes, can't it? Being too near those particular things. So on or over that white line, or very near that white line impeding the cyclist or potentially buses? I don't know because we've not had that confirmed and that could go down as signs and road markings. Reckon. We'll ask that next week, shall we? Because okay. that's what it is next week. Okay. Okay, so... Watch your space. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, the other one when it comes to uh, your position in your lane is that classic of that brain fart moment when they pull out of the test centre and they drive on the wrong side of the road. That's a, it's just a classic, happened, isn't it? Yeah. So, um, yeah, so um, as, as our little examiner friends have said, randomly driving on the wrong side of the road. But I do think that's probably the classic, certainly that I'm aware of, that you they, they come out of the test centre, they turn left or right out of the test centre, and they have that brain fart moment that mm. we drive on the left. You didn't ask this one either, I don't think. I'm going to stick it out there. What about in a one-way street coming to the end and being... In the left rather than the right to turn right, would that be position? No, I think that's road markings and uh, phone signs again. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sure. yeah. don't yeah. make it up. I don't know why you're coming along, really. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking. Are you? Yeah, I shouldn't it's do that. Dangerous. I've been told I've, uh, <laughs> so that's your normal um, uh, driving uh, normal position. Now, the other thing that comes up, my gosh, it comes up again and again over these last few weeks, and it is roundabouts yet oh, again. It seems that the roundabouts can be the factor for so many things Absolutely. that are going on. Now, yeah. what nor driving, um, positioning, normal driving uh, fault is at roundabout is that classic, and we're talking standard roundabouts, your bulk standard roundabouts that isn't changing the rules, where people will take second exit following the road ahead from the right-hand lane, and that goes down as positioning normal driving. Mm. Probably a failure because um, someone's going to get involved or someone yeah, could have got involved. Yeah, absolutely. The potential there is, is uh, and, and shows a distinct lack of knowledge, understanding mm, yeah. um, that, that goes with that. So, yeah, absolutely. So there's uh, that one at roundabouts. And then, of course, the, um, the, the fourth situation that this is most commonly marked for is uh, the good old loitering in the right-hand lane on a dual carriageway. And mm. I think we've all had it. It's only where extent. we teach, there's a junction, isn't there, the bottom of the hills or whatever, but there's a traffic light junction, one lane turning right. doesn't matter how many times you do it, practice it, talk about it. When they turn right, they go in the right-hand lane rather than the left-hand lane because you're turning onto a dual carriageway. And my experience is once you're undertaken, that's game over, really. Mm -hmm. Once the car behind gets fed up or just uses the correct lane, you've been undertaken, you're in the overtaken lane, you're clearly not yeah. overtaken, you're being overtaken or undertaken in this case. Therefore, that that's game over. Yeah. And the same coming off roundabouts, isn't it? That classic coming off roundabouts, the same thing. Turning right at a roundabout, coming off in the right-hand lane, because they feel like they can't come across because there could be someone there. They'll know they shouldn't be, and they can check, and they come off the right-hand lane, stay there, and 
again the same issue yeah, isn't it? yeah i think again the word there is loitering mm. so just um an, an unnecessarily amount of time with clearly no decision making you know yeah, clearly not lots of people who's looking and looking and looking and, and trying to make a, a decision but just that pottering along just as not if aware. It's, yeah, yeah just totally not aware. Un unaware that it's happening if people's aware and thinks oh, i need to get across and can't get across because of traffic light that would be okay i think it'd probably go down as a minor or driving fault if i get an email um but not as a serious, because they, they realise they're trying to do something about it. It's about recovery, isn't it? But if you don't know, or you're not aware, you can't recover. I guess the situation is, if the uh, if it if our car, our pupil's car, has been the deciding factor to make somebody else do that, then that's where the issue yeah, is, isn't absolutely. it? That's that, yeah. that's the issue. Um, so those are the those are the four: the position normal driving, the randomly going on the wrong side of the road. Mm -hmm. The uh, loitering in the overtaking lane of a dual carriageway um, and using the right hand lane to do second exit from the road ahead on a bog standard roundabout. So, those are the classic positioning normal faults. Hmm. I think it's worth clarifying because, so position normal driving, I think a lot of people don't include junctions like roundabouts and traffic lights at that. But that no, is I don't normal think driving. I would have, would no. have particularly have just have driving along down. basically. Yeah. yeah, so I think that's that's useful to know, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Okay. It's not a short one today. <laughs>